Yes, friends, now it's time to import our model. After importing the model, we will see many events on the model while working on it. If you want to open a new page, you can do so by selecting New Scene from File. You can remove the starting base part in my scene here by clicking on the I. And I go to the Import section below, click on the plus sign, and from the Open section, I navigate to the desktop. I open my training set file from the training sets. I don't touch this part here at all. I click Import, and I wait for the model to load, friends, during this waiting time. Depending on the capacity of your model, see, since the origin point of the model is here, it has gone far, I immediately go and approach the model. Friends, from the right side here, I select the training set file from the training set section and look at the move tab here. Look, I am checking where the move tab is. The move tab is here, see? Since the origin point of the model is not adjusted according to the model itself, it has remained here. If you can't find it, look around. It might be a bit further away. I am lifting the model upwards like this. I lifted it a bit above the ground, friends, and my model has come like this. As you can see, I can make adjustments on it as I wish. I can do it the way I want. Hold on to the terrain. From other topics to placing vehicles, we already have many objects within TV motion. Transferring the file is very simple, friends. My recommendation to you, friends, is both in scene movements and in terms of texturing. Doing a lot of work here, what does it mean to do work? For example, I came to the concrete section from the texturing part here. Friends, I have a concrete texture. I placed it here. As you can see, look, I placed it here or I took it and placed it here. As you can see, the same texture is used in many places, which is a different situation. You can change it in the sketch file by changing these from here and entering the measurements. You can create a situation by altering them in different sizes. This didn't actually look different on the concrete product. Conduct tests by experimenting with camera angles as render tests. In a moment, of course, we will fully enter this scene. So, as you can see here, for example, we will use curtain textures. To see more realistically below, we will use lights in the interior parts, making the model more effective by using these. But friends, before that, be sure to try working on different parts of the scene to perform the operations. In the file transfer section, you can press the media button at the bottom from various places to get image outputs from different locations with the camera output. In this way, friends, you can switch between these, and if you are working in a very crowded scene, creating these is very important. Because, you know, even when the camera rotates, it's a significant advantage to press here again to return to the previous state, friends. In the other part, we will continue by applying the floor coverings, wall coverings, and the metal coverings here, friends. And at the same time, we will make enhancements within the model to strengthen it, we will add elements like curtains. We will add spotlights, friends. And there are parts where the coverings have not been applied. We will apply them. In this section, we have imported our model. See you in the next section.